What is up, guys? Climax Combo here. I'm Licious Kid. And I am Checkers. And today we are back with another top 10 video, this time featuring everyone's favorite set, Bushi Road's favorite set, mm -hmm. their new Love Child. That's not Love Live, it is Hollow Live Volume 2. This card is, or this set is very big and has a lot of juicy cards in it. So it was pretty hard to squeeze just 10 in there with a couple honorable mentions. But we did our best to do so. And mm -hmm. we try not to just talk about the double R's because then it's just kind of boring. Uh, we try to spice it up a little. And once again, these are just our favorite cards, not necessarily the strongest cards. Woo. If you guys like this kind of stuff, let us know in the comments, hit that like button, and maybe even possibly subscribe for more Japanese Wise Shorts con content. No, and some English. We do some English now. Yeah. Yeah, I forgot. Uh huh. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Subscribe for Wise Shorts comic content. There we go. But with that out of the way, number 10. Zero, zero. Rainy. Uh, red. 500 power. Sorry if I say any names wrong, guys. We we're don't. Not, we're not. We're not. We're not really Hall Life fans around here. So yeah, yeah. We we're more to Love Live, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah. We like that line. That's true. But anyways, uh, five hundred base red. When this card is placed from hand to stage, you can discard a card to reveal the top card of your deck and salvage a character whose level is equal to or lower than the revealed card and put it to your hand. Other effect is during this card's battle, when the damage you take is canceled, you may return this card to your hand. So, great effect on level zero. Uh, hand filter is super nice throughout the entire game. And the fact that you can potentially use that effect repeatedly uh, when you cancel is a nice bonus to it. So, it just, you know, it's a plus and it has a great effect on it. It's very, very good level zero to run. Staple effects with added stuff on top of it is just what makes cards kind of really strong and wise, I feel like. Mm -hmm. So this is this is good. This effect wasn't that common before recently, huh? I feel like Bushiro is really everything. Yeah, they're putting it in almost every set. Um, which is good. Yeah, it's, um yeah. just makes the game a lot more forgiving and just more consistent, I guess. Which I feel like is very important nowadays. Cool, cool, cool. Next up, a blue card level three suise rare Gun just a rare is. yep um 10k power uh she heals on play and has a climax combo with pants at the start of your attack phase uh, if you have pants in your climax area and this is in your front row you can choose one of the following two effects and resolve it uh either send all of your opponent's characters to memory then place them on your opponent's stage in separate slots or this turn she gains the effect of when she attacks, you can pay one, discard a card, and deal two damage to your opponent. Now, she does have a support card as well. Though I'll quickly go over. Level zero, Suise. So uh, 1500 base. When a climax is placed in your climax area, choose one of your characters, and this turn it gets 2k power. And climax combo with the same pants. Uh, when the climax is played, you can pay one, Send her to your waiting room. Uh, only if you're level 2 or higher. You can do this. But if you do, choose one of the level 3 Suise in your hand and place it on stage in this card's former slot. So, the level 3 Suise combo is pretty cool. Um, being able to break your opponent's board, essentially, you get to flicker all of, your, all of them and put them wherever you want to. So you can reverse their back row, uh, which is pretty nice. And the fact that you can do it at level two uh, is even better. Uh, she also heals, which is great. And you also have the option to game enter with her later on in the game. If you so choose, you can deal two damage, which is a pretty basic effect, but it's nice. So this card is really loaded and there's a lot of potential with this card. It's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Very cool. Dress up Nagato broken card way back well, back then now in the modern age i mean messes with flicker effects i think is what's crazy i'm sure a lot of people i mean a lot of people are talking about it it messes with overlord yeah. really hard mm -hmm. messes up the eins and uh yeah i feel like a lot of these new cards are getting like good effects until the end of your opponent's next turn and this card just kind of makes all that irrelevant um because she flickers them so feels bad for decks like that 
Is this why they didn't touch Overlord? So so we say, can I ever shine a spot in sunlight? <laughs> you know what I mean? Maybe. Yeah. But nonetheless, uh, just just good card. If you're ahead in the damage, you, your opponent has to set up their board. And then boom, you throw it on a Suise, wipe their opponent's wipe their whole board. And then like, you know, if they're a deck that relies on their back row, she owns it. So just really strong card. I like it a lot. It's cool. Seems a lot of fun for you, but not your opponent. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, zero zero, Lamy double R, fifteen hundred power. Um, two effects when this attacks. If all your characters are hollow life, choose one of your characters. This turn it gets plus one K power. Second effect when this card is reversed in battle. If all your characters are hollow life, you can pay one, um, send one hollow life character in your waiting room to the bottom of your clock. Then send her to memory. If you did, look at top four cards of your deck. Choose one character amongst it. Reveal it to your opponent. Add it hands. The rest to the waiting room. Um, I think this card's legit. On attack plus one K, that's nice. The second effect though is good. I mean, Hollow Life has so many ways to search and tutor and salvage. I think what makes this one a little better is that the fact that it mills, but also it sends itself to memory, which some Hollow Life builds do want. And for that, this Lamy is definitely a staple in those. Just increased consistency in both the recollection side and in the the whole, you know, how the deck flow side. So yeah. Super good. And even if you're not, if you don't need recollection, I still think it's a strong card. Yeah. Mills, compress, searches. What's not to love? It's a pretty loaded card. Mm -hmm. I mean, for us to have a level zero on this list, with Hall Live already having so many great level zeros, you know it's great. Yeah, I mean, like, oh, they have so many good zeros. It's crazy. Truly blessed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Next up, this card, I think is super sick, or we think is super sick. 10 5 power. Um, Oski. Um, continue with all your other Hollow Life characters. Plus 1500 power. Works if she's the front or back. Second effect. At the beginning of your opponent's... I'm sorry. At the beginning of your Encore phase, if this card's in the front row, if all your opponent's characters in the front row are empty or reverse, you can discard two cards in your hand. If you do, deal one damage to your opponent, look at the top card of your deck, place it on top of your deck or in waiting room, and until the end of your opponent's next turn, this card gets plus 1k power. So... We think this card's really sick. I mean, it's obviously a mm -hmm. standby card. It gives your whole board extra power. The combo is non climax combo reliant. You can start doing it at level two. You can surprise your opponent during your own attack phase because you just attack. Oh, you just trigger a standby. Her, her, she's in the front. And now you get her effect off. It's pretty heavy, but I think the fact that you can start doing it at level two is what makes it really cool. And, you know, if you attack first and then you trigger a standby, you could put it in the back, give your whole row, you know, more power. And, like, the combo is just sick. Just burn inc increases your own chance to compress because you check your top at your Encore phase. So, like, you could leave that Climax on top, you know. Mm -hmm. And she gets extra power. I think it's just a cool card. Very, very nice card. I think um, it just works really well as itself it's like it's strong just a good card i, I want to see more cards like this that have like a specific um goal in mind you know mm -hmm. that you can just kind of slot in and build around and you still have room for climax combos you know that is true it, it's like it's rare to see this kind of card i think mm -hmm. just it's, it's cool you know it mm -hmm. does everything in a pretty balanced way i think if she is strong she a game ends, protects your board, and protects your damage a little. So, so cool. Ooh, but <laughs> this card, the only level two on our entire list, <coughs> is this two one Aki seventy five hundred power. <laughs> She's got two effects for each of your other copies of her in your front row. She gets plus two k, and this active this effect activates once per turn. When you use a startup, this card gets plus fifteen hundred power. So, pretty simple. Unfortunately, it's only one soul, but it should be kind of overtuned if she wasn't. So if you have a full field of her at level two, she's uh, two one level five, which I think is pretty strong. <laughs> and if you just run her with any backup, she's gonna be at least thirteen k base, which can be very hard for a lot of decks to answer with properly. Hollow Life has so many ways to search, salvage, and tutor. I think it would be very easy to get three of these in your hand, and in certain matchups. 
uh, might be nigh impossible for them to break. And if that's the case, they just have to stare at this all at level two, uh, unkillable board. So, ugh. I think it's a. I mean, they have Hollow have so many easy and good early drops that can come out, but this one's just no condition, unadoptable. Can't really mess with it. Just honest balance, <laughs> two one. No cheating, what no broken fuck? climax combos. Wait, like certain what? SAO players can't what? cheat her out. What? So I think it's cool. I want to see more level twos like this that actually have a chance of playability in them. Because I do think this card is playable. Yeah. Yeah. You know, instead of having to cheat them out or having to give them overloaded effects, giving them huge powers, this is just honest, playable. I'm pretty sure that might be, be good. Example. What? That'll be its downfall. Too honest? Yeah, it's too honest. It could be. I mean, it's in an overloaded set too. If this was like in Heaven Burns Red or or Arifureta, maybe even better. But it's a hollow eye, so we'll see if they actually play it. But I think it's legit. Alright. <laughs> and as surprising as it is, we got another crazy good level zero. Double R, Kanata, yellow. 1500 power during your opponent's turn if you have five or more hand this gets plus one level and plus 1500 power and uh, on play effect you can pay one put the top card of your deck into your clock and then if you do search for a level one or lower character and add it to your hand um as if hollow Eye didn't already have enough uh they get more great strong utility cards it's a riki but it's level one 3k on your opponent's turn making it extra survivable um and yeah it's just a phenomenal card i mean you know there's all kinds of pluses to having a reiki effect available to you it's just great it's just powerful but why bushi share the level zero love <laughs> <laughs> give you know give love live that give uma musume some of that or oh, bochi the rock some of that yeah. we'll see Hopefully. but Strong, strong zero. Next up, level three Gouda, double R, blue, AK power. Uh, if all your characters are hollow alive, this gets 3k power, making her essentially 11k base. And uh, once she's played for mana stage, you can heal one and climax combo with pants. When this attacks and you have six or less hand, you can pay cost, which is pay two, discard a card. If you do, deal two damage to your opponent and then resolve the following effect twice. You can mill the top card of your deck. If that card has a soul trigger, deal one damage to your opponent. So, that's a lot of extra power on one, or extra damage potential on one card. You can deal potentially four damage. Um, and it's pretty nuts that it's in multiple instances, two, one, one. Um, if you mill, you know, a soul trigger. Uh, but yeah, honestly, this combo is really good. Really great for finishing the game. A lot of extra damage in just one card. And you can play other stuff to support it. Mm -hmm. It's great. It's going to be kind of hard getting three of these off in one turn. But definitely, I mean, you're always guaranteed impossible. at least one. <laughs> always guaranteed at least one. But I think you can get away with two. Yeah. And it's just, some, you're going to stick some kind of damage. So if they're like 3-3, three, 3-2, three, three, you're dead. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, that's kind of like watch choice nowadays. But nonetheless, strong card. Yeah, good pants finisher. Oh yes, that's true. Very good, consist, good pants finisher. There we go. Ooh, this next card gets me very excited. Mm -hmm. Good support for the Gouda. Zero zero five hundred power. Nino Mai. Uh, once placed from a hand to stage, look at top two cards of your deck. Place on top in any order. Second effect. Once placed on stage from hand, you can pay one to discard a climax. If you do, salvage a climax. What makes this card overtuned, in my opinion, is the soul trigger. <laughs> I mean, a zero with a soul trigger is kind of crazy. And the fact that she already has a very staple effect attached to her just makes it so good. We kind of mentioned in the zero zero Rine, it's like very strong, basic common effects and white shorts with extra added effects on top of them. This is what kind of makes cards very strong. And this card has a very staple effect on top of a good on play effect, on top of having soul icon. Yep. And as we saw the Gouda, there is some soul icon synergy, not with just the Gouda, but with some other cards in Hololive. 
So this card just has a good home and a lot of builds. Yep. And I feel like nowadays you just, you know, pushing for damage is just really good in this game. And this card is just gonna give you that extra push for damage. You can salvage her with choice two. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Ooh, spicy. That's crazy. I didn't think of that. <laughs> that's, oh. that's so sick. What kind of zero can you put to your hand or to your stock with choice? You can't. Exactly, except this card. Climax swap. Exactly. Oh my god. Okay, this card is so fucking sick. This card is sick. <laughs> oh my god. I love this card. I want this card. I can't believe it. All right. We have another level three combo for our number two spot. It is La Plus, Darkness, uh, 10k power, yellow, heal on play, and climax combo with choice. When she attacks this turn, she gains the following ability. Uh, and that is, this ability can only be activated up to once per turn. When this card's damage is canceled, you may deal one damage to your opponent X times, where X is equal to one if the total number of this card you you have is one or less, and two if you have two or more. What? They steal X one time? So it's one one? Yeah. That's busted. It's not two, it's one one. Yeah. That's busted. I thought it was two. No. Oh my god, this card is broken. Wait, what? I thought it was just two. No, two it's one, one. Oh, that's full fucking. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's crazy. This is nuts. Because. Okay. Sorry, you can start over. No, okay. I, I like this. I'm going oh to put it like this. <laughs> oh my god. I just realized that. Dude, you. It's so. It's costless, first of all. So that's you broken. You can just fill your board up with the pluses, which is, you know, what you're going to do. It's your finish with the heal. But because you do that, you already fulfill the condition for X to be two, which means you get to ping one twice. If it cancels, obviously, but uh, ping one twice is like super great on those on this effect, just to get in a bit of extra more extra damage, um, and have it stick. So it's like, man, dude, ping one multiple times is so good, and. Uh, you just it's just easy to pull this off it's know? not even a condition it's just yeah it is there is no condition there's no condition you just play these um that's yeah. what like if you cancel is is like almost like you're taking nine attacks yeah two one one two one one no three one one three one one three one one because of those choice so you can snipe climax is way easier mm -hmm. it's like dude this is this is pretty pretty lethal Oh, so you're gonna be taking damage. Yeah. We need we need to make Arifuda the, the the zero teacher. Oh, the one oh teacher. The one oh. This is the time. Yep. Arifuda does the anti-meta guys. You're gonna need Arifuda now. Mm-hmm. Against Hollow Live. But for real Z's, I mean and La, La Plus, she has her own build. a uh, lot of cards that are intentionally designed for this card. Uh, which mm -hmm. are all good, but this is like a really strong reason to play those cards too. Like this card is insane. On to some honorable mentions before we get to our number one. Um, this 3-2 Marine, I think it's so sick. 9,500 power. Um, if you have four more hard life characters, this is one level in hand. Second effect, when it's placed on stage from your hand, you can send one of your other hard life characters on stage to the waiting room. If you did, look at the top card of your deck, choose up to one level one or higher card among them, reveal it to your opponent, add it to your hand, send the rest to the waiting room. Then you heal one. I think this card is good because... It's an easy early drop that heals you, which is already great, but it has the potential to give you an extra card in hand. I know you pretty much break even because you do have to sack a character and the chance to plus might not be there. But I mean, if you want to play multiple of these at level two, you're gonna have to play over a character anyways. So it sacking a character is usually not a downside if you want to be playing multiple of these mining, which you probably want to. So the fact that you're going to play over a character anyways, but you're gonna, you know, plus in hand size in the process, is why I think this card is cool. Um, so also sticks to the modding theme of stacking a character to gain her effect, like the old level three modding. So I think it's staying in the flavor as well, is what also makes it extra cool. So I really like this card. I want to see this card in 
more built or other sets because it's just cool. It's got that spicy R2, you know? Next up, other good early drops. 3-2, 9K, Coyote. It's got three effects. If you have two or more of her in your waiting room, loses one level in hand. Second effect, if you have two or more Hollow characters, it gets plus 15 and hand encore. Last effect, uh, when it's placed... When it's played from hand to stage, you search for a Hollow Life character, add it to your hand, then shuffle your deck. So, I mean, all around good effects. Pretty easy conditions come out early. Hand Encore, big body. And you search in the process. You can search another one of her. Start setting up your end game. Start grabbing backups, what have you. Um, I think it's really good in a Laplace build because you just get more Laplaces. And then when your opponent hits level when you hit level 3, your opponent knows their time is... <laughs> they're they're gonna die soon so just a really good card i think another great early play i know as if hall life didn't have enough yeah i know they have a first world problem which early drop do you play dang <laughs> it must be nice all of them mm -hmm. more first world problems we got another great zero with the zero zero noel 1500 power if there's a marker underneath this card it gets plus one level and plus 1500 power second effect when it's played from hand to stage reveal the top card of your deck if that character is a hollow life character put underneath there as a marker and lastly she's an interceptor so 0, 0, 3k, plus one level, intercepts. If your opponent doesn't have a 0, 0, 3, 5, they're in trouble. They're just going to get ran over by this car. Can't even side consistently for damage. Just going to be losing out in value at level 0. So they're going to be in uh, trouble. Yeah. Mm -hmm. this, is, this is a loaded level 0 mm -hmm. without utility. This is like one of the strongest zeros, right? I agree. Mm -hmm. But will it see play? It or feels not. as any other said it would. Yeah. <laughs> but because uh -huh. it's in Hollow Life, will they play it? I doubt it. I don't know, but it was, it's good. Yeah, it's still a great card. Mm -hmm. I mean, def a strong contender for sure. Uh, next up, yet another early play. Level 3 IMA, 8500 power, red. Uh, if you have two or less climaxes in your waiting room, this gets minus one level in hand. Uh, once you play from hand to stage, and you have another Hall Alive character until the end of your opponent's next turn, she gets plus 2k power, making her 10-5. And another on-play effect, you can choose one of the following two effects and resolve it. Either look at the, up to the top three cards of your deck, choose one card, add it to your hand, send the rest to waiting room, or you can heal one. Um, so, you know, another, another early play, another good uh, option to have. A bit harder condition than the others, but it's got some survivability with the 10-5 until the end of your opponent's turn, and the top check is super useful uh, to set up your hand. Um, or you can just heal if you want more heals. So it's, it's another good card. Mm -hmm. Lucky. <laughs> um, and lastly, for our honorable mentions, we have another double R. Uh, level 1, Chloe. 4k power. Uh, when she attacks, if you have another Hall of Life character, she gets plus 3k power, making her 7k on attack, which is pretty big. Um, and Climax combo with the door. When she attacks uh, and all of your characters are Hall of Life, you can resonate with the level 3 Laplace from your hand. And if you do, choose one Hall of Life character in your waiting room, add it to hand, then reveal the top card of your deck. If that card is a level 1 or higher, send it to stock. So... A uh, level one combo that specifically synergizes with the Laplace. Um, you know, gate is great, whatever. Uh, 7k on attack is pretty nice. And the fact that you plus on top of potentially getting extra stock and extra resource is just a great level one combo to fuel the rest of the game and start setting up. Um, and yeah. Just a power crept version of the UA from the last set, huh? Yep. Pretty much. Kind of sad. <laughs> but we just want to mention this one over... I mean, as the Arpo mentioned, there's, we all know Hollow Life has so many good 1-0 combos to choose from. There's a lot. And this set ha added more to that. Mm -hmm. We just want to talk about this one because we think the Laplace build will be strong. And this one has obvious synergy with that. So yeah, just thought we'd just throw this one specifically out there. And for our number one card... Oh, shit. Mm-hmm. This is the 3 2 uh, Odi, Oli, double R, 10k power. Um, this card is just cool. 
When it's placed on stage from hand or by the climax combo of herself, <laughs> you may heal. Second effect, if this card's in your waiting room, at the beginning of your attack phase, if you have the gate in your climax zone, if you're level 2 or higher, if all your characters are hollow life, you can pay one, discard a card. If you do, place this card on stage. This card is just so unique. It's a standby card in a gate, which is kind of crazy. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, and she also heals, which is juicy. And she gets to attack when she comes out because she comes out and stand. Um, Got to discard a card, but you're probably going to, you're going to be running four gates at least for this. So hand size should be a lot easier in this kind of build. So it's just, it's just fun and it's cool. Yeah. Super neat effect. Um, just no, it's not at all hard to pull off. You don't need change targets or anything like that. It's just nice and simple. Bring them out at level two. It only costs one. Yeah. So you're getting a level three and you're healing early for one stock. You know? Yes, you got a ditch, but like we said, it shouldn't be. I mean, Hollow Life has so many ways to plus, anyways. So, like, it's kind of crazy. Um, it doesn't scale well into late game, mm -hmm. but it is very strong at level two. And this has very good, strong synergy with the level three. Insane um, synergy. Insane synergy. Thank you for the correction checker. <laughs> with the TD level three from the very first set. Uh, really strong synergy. More of a separate topic. But these two together was also pushes this card over the top. Mm. Mm -hmm. So Definitely deserving of our number one spot. We like this card a lot. Yeah, super sick. But yeah, that is going to do it for this top 10 video for Hollow Live. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. If we missed any cards that you think are cool, um, just let us know what you like. You know, put them in the comments. It's always cool. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, stay tuned for more top 10s. We like making these videos. It's fun to see. It's fun to get into these sets. It's pretty fun. Just kind of gets the noodle cooking a little. Do you think Bushiro did not change anything to the ban list because they think Hollow Life will be strong? And if they nerf everything, do you think Hollow Life will be too strong, Checkers? No. I don't think so. Oh. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. Maybe that's why. Maybe more craziness about to show up. That's why they didn't nerf anything this set. Maybe. Yeah. So. I'd say maybe they think they made this as some it will naturally take down what's strong right now hmm i don't really know though i don't know either it's hard to say because hall life is also very popular so it has this card sets with high win play rates are naturally gonna have decent results mm -hmm. so but it's it seems strong this set seems strong huh yeah there's definitely some spicy stuff going on mm -hmm. new builds and new spicy new spicy builds and new support for old builds and hollow life was already at a good place so hollow mm -hmm. life will mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. continue to have a bright future and will most likely constantly be getting support from bushy road huh yep <sighs> that must be nice <laughs> Woo -hoo. anyways guys i think that's any more plots checkers nope that's all i got all right my friend well like always guys Stay tuned for more content in the near future. Peace. Peace.